comfortable. If you want to grab a chair, move it up closer, that's fine. We're going to uh, have some remarks from uh, the OEA president, Keith Brown, and whenever he's ready. <laughs> Make yourselves at home, guys. Make yourselves at home. Thank you, Oakland community. Thank you, Oakland parents. And thank you, Oakland students. And we're here with a powerful message that Oakland is not for sale. Earlier today, we stood with Oakland city workers at City Hall, and we are surrounded by all kind of new skyscrapers being lifted up in the city of Oakland. The money is there in this city. There is no reason why we cannot fund our schools and keep our schools open in the city of Oakland, California. And we're continuing a movement, a movement for public education, and it starts with the youth, it starts with the students, the Open Education Association is proud to stand with our parents, students, and community and fight to invest in our schools and to close and stop the school to prison pipeline. And together, we will win. This movement is just beginning. It's not stopping. We will stop this school, these school closures from happening. We stand united together. And let's make some noise! depends on us all staying here and staying strong and supporting our wonderful people up here who are actually willing to get dragged off that stage by the police tonight. They need you to stay here. They need you to be here for them. Please don't go anywhere. Stick around. Thank you. And we will keep you updated on what's going on with the board. We know that they're used to long meetings. We know that they have patience, but I'm out of patience. I've been working this district since 2003. I've seen round after round of school closures. They do no good. They do nothing. Every time they do it, the school district bleeds students. When they don't close schools, enrollment grows. It's a simple equation. So why are they doing this? Is it to improve enrollment? No. Is it to stabilize the district? No. no. There's only one reason they're doing this, and that is to clear the ground for charter schools. Yes. We know that three or four of these board members are basically puppets of charter schools. They're basically bought and sold by charter schools. Charter schools have donated more money to school board elections in Oakland than are donated to many elections for the state legislature. They want to control our city. They want to bring more and more charters in, and they can do that when there's campuses that no longer host a public school. And that's what this is all about. Thank you. 